the lumbar treatment plan? Our lumbar treatment plan boasts the most advanced and developed treatment plan, not only in the Caribbean, but in the entire Central America. As a matter of fact, um, our chemical company, uh, Coppers, they selected us to represent this physical area. And in most cases, when they have training and other persons that are to be trained on these processes, then they are brought here to Jamaica to our treatment plant to be trained. So it does generate some kind of, of, of revenues from this kind of exposure. I would say that we have five to seven groups each year that would come in to be trained. And these are operators and uh, technical persons. To understand a wood product is once you produce a timber, and you convert it to lumber in general. You have to remove majority of the water from the lumber down to about 18% water content. If you don't remove the water from the live lumber, then that water rot the lumber. You have to remove 18% is what is required. So basically, you would have removed technically 82% of the water content from the lumber. And this is done by a kiln process by removing the water. But once you have removed the water from the wood, then the wood itself doesn't have the same level of stability that it had with the water inside. So that's where the treatment plant comes in, you know, to put liquid water back with chemical back, not only to improve the stability of the wood, but also to protect it against infestation. So we preserve the wood, both in terms of dexterity, protection against infestation. And we can do some magic with this wood also, so we can cut it. We can take a piece of pine wood, and we can give it an appearance of a piece of mahogany, which can maybe green or orange. Countries like Brazil, with their environmental issues, they don't have treatment plants. So normally, mm -hmm. Brazil would have shipped some of their products to Puerto Rico or to the USA to be treated. And then it is redistributed back to areas like Jamaica and the Caribbean. Today, that product is shipped into Jamaica, we receive it, we treat it, and then we re-export it. We take roughly two samples from each one of them just to be sure that everything has been treated correctly. It goes directly inside the lumber mm -hmm. and then the sample comes out. And what baking are, a cake. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's funny, let's spoke about baking because there's some actually baking taking place on the three solutions here. Mm -hmm. This one is what tartwood solution A and B. That's, uh, that indicates where the chemical has penetrated. If it has not penetrated that area, it will show a red, reddish color. So after that, we remove the area that is red, then put them to be baked, as you stated earlier, <laughs> are dried for roughly half an hour. Depends what half an hour is the most. Then we'll grind them up in the mill machine, place them in the oxford uh, x-ray, and then we'll do an anal analysis of it. <laughs>